Let's talk about antifreeze valves. If you use them, where they need to go, obviously on the lowest point, and how to insulate and seal them correctly. Now, fitting an antifreeze valve has to be on the lowest point. So, if your pipework is above the air source heat pump, like this, or like this, then the antifreeze valve needs to be at the lowest point. So it needs to be fitted on the connection of the air source heat pump or connections if you use two. If the air source heat pump is higher than the lowest point of the pipework where it enters the building, then the antifreeze valve will go at the lowest point where it enters the building. These are the inter antifreeze valves and these can be fully insulated and sealed so it stops any energy getting out but also moisture getting in that can reduce the efficiency of the air source heat pump. Here we have 28 mil compression and I believe they're just bringing out a 35 mil compression and then you have the inch males so then you can bush it up to 35 mil pipework if you need to. We'll show you how that they fit onto the air source heat pump or uh, in to do a lever valve that they can connect onto and we'll show you how easy it is to connect onto those. So connecting an inter antifreeze valve onto the inter lever valves that connect straight onto the air source heat pump is simple. Just get a inch female to 28 mil male that goes straight onto there. That then allows you to put the antifreeze valve on there. And then you'll need a 28 mil female with a short piece of copper in, sweated in, and a inch male. And that fits straight into there. So we're all connected with the lever valve, the antifreeze valve, and the bent interflex hose. The pair come with two pre-made elbows, like little shoes. That then pops over there. That then goes onto there. You seal that part up, seal that part, and then we seal all this in and seal to the air source heat pump. You can use the pre-made insulation jackets for there, or you can make your own. All insulated and bonded and sealed. This is the Interflex elbow uh, with the shoe on. Two pre-made jackets here cut, all bonded and sealed up. So these are all capped and sealed so no water can get in and no energy can get out. This, we've just left this one off, but that one would be also bonded and sealed in. All sealed around here, all sealed around here, all sealed to the air source heat pump so no heat or energy can get out and no water can penetrate in providing maximum efficiency if you don't use lever valves externally and you want to connect your antifreeze valve again the 28 mil male to inch female connect your antifreeze valve if you wanted to use a straight flexi then put a small piece in with the 28 mil female to inch and then you can connect your straight flexi or just extend them a little and still use the same fitting but then use the bent flexes and then insulate that so we have the antifreeze valve there connected directly to the air source heat pump a small jacket here small piece of insulation here the interflex bent with its shoe all areas are bonded and sealed. We just left this one because this was for demonstration purposes, but that would be also capped and sealed. So plenty of bond and seal on to cap and seal all these joints up. Plenty of bond and seal around here to uh, cap and seal to the air source heat pump. Sealed all around here. So no energy can get out, but also no moisture or water can get in. So... We've talked about where the air source heat pump will be higher than the lowest point of the external pipe work where the antifreeze valve will have to be fitted. So first option is to fit some interflex straights and they straight on and then you can bend them round. Or you could use a inch female to 28 mil. That'll then just screw straight on. 
little bit of pipe and then use a 28 mil to inch and then your bent interflexors can go on to that. That would be a solution. Just thinking about the inch and a quarter tappings, so you could use a reducer, that's 35mm uh, compression with a 35mm to 28mm reducer in it, and that's to inch and a quarter, expensive fitting, or there's another cost effective solution, is the inch and a quarter intervalve, so that's an inch and a quarter tapping that goes straight onto the air source heat pump, and then just like the inch lever valve gives you an inch bsp male there to then connect onto and do exactly the same as we've talked about with the uh, inch tappings